So in this devlog, I want to show you what we have done and how what we did was almost all wrong. So to begin with, I'm going to give you a tour of the product. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do another devlog where I'm going to show you all the improvements which we have implemented after having done our user tests. So in the top left hand side, we have workspace. So think of Slack workspace, it's kind of the same. Underneath you have projects, so think of this as Slack channels. And this is where the work gets done. So this could be something like a company that you're doing work for, a feature you're working on, one of your clients or a department such as HR or sales. Underneath this, you have views. So here we have a project called Frontend. And inside of it, you have this tab here, which is called Pages. And inside of it, you can see a bunch of pages. Now you can create a page real easy by just clicking on this button here. I've created a bunch of pages just as a test here. So here's a page called Linus Torvalds and you can just edit the page. And once you kind of click edit, you can create a bunch of stuff. You can do a hush and a, a font goes big. So you can say hello. You can create uh, bullet points or if you want to do numbering, you can just do one. Also, you can do kind of inline code in quotes and bold by doing this. But also you can do it by using this toolbar up here. And I can also insert images and add splash images real nice and easy up here. I wanted to create this toolbar because uh, not everybody knows Markdown. Once you kind of add the pages, it's very easy to find them. I've just hit escape there and if I do command K and I just type in Linus, do this and then hit enter and they open up absolutely immediately. You can actually drag and drop them into a different project. So if you just start dragging them, once you kind of mouse over, let's say a different project, they kind of reduce in size and you just drop them. You see? Real nice. You shouldn't have to be a rocket scientist to actually know how to move a page. So that's the pages. And now let me go into boards. The boards is the same as pages. You can basically add more than one board to a project. So here, for example, I have two Kanban boards. One is called current sprint and the other one's called backlog. And this is a typical scenario that we use in our company. You can do all your stuff that you're currently doing inside of this board and the product managers can keep the backlog inside of a different board. You can just click on them and peek inside. Even before you do that, you can actually just see how many tasks there are in each column. I can kind of peek inside and this one. So you can see both boards at the same time. And then when you hold down shift and move your mouse over, you can actually see the real card as if you are inside of the board. And then when I click on the card here, I open it in line. But if you want to have a bit more detail when you're viewing the board, you can actually open the board fully. But please notice how quick this opens. We've invested a lot of effort into actually doing the architecture i.e. avoiding relational databases and using real NoSQL databases so we have this real instantaneous response. And if I just hit escape, I can just go back to this preview mode. But the preview mode isn't just preview mode. You can actually move cards up or down inside of the preview mode. Isn't that cool? So you could be having your stand up and discussing backlog. Once you decide that something should go inside of the to-do, you can just drag it from one board to another. If you want to create an epic card, what you can do is just take any card you have and then just start adding cards to the epic card. Click on cards. I can just search for other cards to become children of this card. There's one there that's going to go inside. Click on it. So now this card has become an epic card. As well as epic cards, you can also add normal checklists by just adding items. And then you can just check them off. You can move stuff around, move it down, or you can move items from here to here. You can also upload stuff real easy. I can just select all of them and just drag and drop them onto a card. So this epic, we, we can just drop this in here and you can see there's 11 files there. I can just kind of browse them real nice and easy. And I can delete them or download them, anything I like. And you can do the same with videos. Also, when you open the card up by simply dragging the images onto the card. See that? Done. See how quick that is? It's real nice. You can add a due date which is nice. And then once it's about to expire the card, it goes red and tells you. So that's how you use the boards. Of course, you can do everything that you can do with a Kanban board inside of here, as well as the preview. But the cool thing about Kanban boards is that you can also drag and drop them into different projects. See like that? And they become a small icon and then you drop them and they're there. And now just to illustrate the speed of the, of the system, remember we created a page called Linus Torvalds and and I can do a command K and search for Linux. Boom. I'm in there absolutely instantly without any waiting whatsoever. So now I want to talk about all the things that we did wrong. So when people were using SuperThread, 
they didn't realize that they could create more than one board inside of a project and they were kind of confused they thought that a project has only one board they also had no idea that you could add more than one page per project they for some reason missed this new page button and we're going to kind of be making improvements there they had no idea that they could move pages between projects so they didn't know they could do this and there was no way of them knowing without us doing the tutorial the other thing they didn't know was they didn't know where they were in the system so they'd open up this page and they wouldn't know that they were inside the front end because this highlight is ever so slight so we're going to be fixing that by introducing the breadcrumb and in fact i used to have the breadcrumb and that's one of the reasons why i called super thread super thread because it would be a super thread and then there would be children of that thread inside of that super thread they also struggled with the idea of editing pages they kind of wanted to edit the pages absolutely immediately without clicking on the edit button maybe because they're used to doing it in google docs but in this system you have to click the edit but most likely we're going to be making it so you can edit it straight away without having to click the edit button there were also too many menu items inside of the system which were not functional so they would be clicking on something that doesn't work and that caused absolute havoc so thank you guys for watching this video. We really appreciate it. I'd love to hear from you. So if you can ping me directly on LinkedIn or in this YouTube channel, we'd love you to try the system because if you try the system, then you'll be able to give us some feedback. And it's the feedback from users like yourself that make this system uh, a really good system, uh, a system that actually works for everybody, not just for developers. That's fast, delightful, and nice to use. So thank you once again, and I'll see you guys next time.